I happen to believe that if you are engaged in drilling and can create this level of damage, it carries with it a responsibility that you accept liability for the damage. If you cannot accept that liability, stay the hell out of the business. No one's life should become an asterisk in somebody's cost-benefit analysis. It is immoral. And said by others, the BP can spend millions and millions of dollars running ads saying how wonderful they are and how environmentally conscious they are. They can spend a lot more money helping the families that are suffering. American people deserve better from all big oil companies who exploit our natural resources for enormous profit. This is a picture of the backyard fort Gordon built with Stafford's help for Stafford and Max. Although you may not be able to tell, it is not finished. Gordon planned to finish it when he returned home. He will never get that, get that chance. Certainly, others will step in to make sure it is finished and try to fill the tremendous void left by Gordon's death. But this is yet another example of an, inc an incomplete life and what has been lost. During this past month and a half, I've gained tremendous perspective on things. Certain things that I thought were important before April 20th are just not important anymore. This is important. This is important to Michelle, Stafford, and Max, and all the other families affected by this tragic event. You have an opportunity to make this right and create, create equal justice under law for these families. I want to take this opportunity to address recent remarks made by Tony Hayward, CEO of BP. In particular, he publicly stated he wants his life back. Well, Mr. Hayward, I want my brother's life back. <laughs>